Okay, so that's all good. Now I've got some icons down here that I can use for links. There's this uh, eye icon here for view more. The information. That's good. And I've got a little record symbol for the discography. Now it's the wrong size. So I'm going to turn it to 32 pixels and, and drop it in. And 32 is the standard size for icons 32 or 64 or 128 pixels so 32 kind of the smallest um, there we go okay let's have a look what that looks like it's not quite lined up that will do okay the next thing I'm going to do is uh, listen so I'm just going to duplicate the uh, text layer so I can just drag it across and, uh, turn it to listen and put the information that I'm going to have. Listen to free tracks from the, the new album. And here I've got a little uh, image of a, a player, a media player. Now it's got some black rounds. So I'm just going to use the magic wrong to cut that out and drop it on. So there is a, a little music player, which is good. Now I want to make a button underneath that as well. Um, and that one is for buying music so I'm just going to try and line it up so it's about the same size okay just drag it in a bit there we go um, buy online there we go now I could give it some bevel and emboss uh, later to make it look more like a button. Okay, now the photo gallery, I've got some images. I can open these in Photoshop and uh, resize them so I know what size I need them to be. So uh, they're not quite, I'm going to have to change the canvas size as well to crop them down to exactly the right sort of size. So it should be uh, 230 by 130. So I'm not going to save it, I'm just going to drag it in and drop it so it's the right sort of size and then go ahead and close it without saving it and I'm just going to duplicate the uh, text layer again and zoom it across drag it up to the top now on this one I'm actually going to make it uh, white so we can see it and this will be my photo gallery um, I'll keep capitals photo gallery Okay, I've got another icon, this uh, camera icon. I'm just going to uh, use the paint bucket tool to fill it with black. There we go, and I'll just resize it down to 32 pixels. Okay, good stuff, and just drop it on. So that's another little icon there. Okay, good. I'm going to close this without saving. and turn everything off there we go just to have a look now I just want the last bit of information in there which is about the tour date so I'm going to duplicate my text layer yet again and just grab it hold shift to drag it along okay and this text layer it's going to be live about live music and it's going to have the tour dates and the schedule as well okay now I've got a little icon down here there we are that lightning icon so uh, what size is it I have to resize it it's um, 64 I'm gonna make it twice the size of the other ones there we go live Okay, don't save that. And now I've got a bunch of um, Facebook, Twitter icons as well. I can line up down the side here. So there's the Facebook one, that looks good. And Twitter one. Okay, and I've also got a somewhere here a sort of a link to an external website. Oh, here it is. There we 
go. Okay, let's turn off the wireframe and have a look. So that's kind of what it's going to look. I'll just save it. Um, so that's the look of uh, that. I'm just going to change this to black. I'm not happy with the white there. There we go. It's coming together very well. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to group this whole band one together. So here's a new group I've made. I've just got to select what's actually in the group. It's easy just using that little uh, eye to turn them on and off to work out what is in the group. So if I flick them on and off, I can see which ones are uh, in band one. And then I can just drag them into, um, into the group. So I'm just going to go all the way down. If I use shift, I can actually uh, select all the layers and just drag them into that group. Now the reason I'm doing this is then I can duplicate the whole group for the other bands as well. So I collapse the group there. Okay, I'm missing something from that group. Okay. okay put those into the group. Take a while just organizing my layers. There we go, everything's in one group. So now, what I can do is I can duplicate the group. And now I've got group two. I'll close group one. I'm going to link all the layers together if I need to. And okay, so now this is group two that I've grabbed here. Group one back on, and in group two, I can then delete the stuff that I don't want. So I'm going to um, delete the photo gallery and band one information. Just get everything right. Uh, group one, I've got buy online in the wrong place as well. There we go. Okay, so now band two. Here's my logo for band two. Let me just change the image size. That's 230. And that should fit in quite nicely. Just drop that one into group two. And don't save the changes. I've got another picture here. Some random pictures. Again, the wrong size. Let's just change the image width and then crop the canvas size as well okay that's looking good okay so now really this is all I need to do is duplicate the group yet again uh, so duplicate the group change to group three and here we go just I'm using the arrow keys just to push it down and I'll turn the wireframe on so I can get the, the location of it there we go that's nearly about right okay that's group three Let's move it up and again I'll just delete out uh, the photo album and the band. 